and welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum. This is part two in the video series on the Apple Newton message pad from 1993. In this video we're going to start up the message pad, have a look at the built-in software and crucially let's see how accurate the fabled handwriting recognition really is. Now I do apologize for the angle and the camera and the lighting here because given the design of this screen it is very hard to avoid reflection, so you can see my big ugly face in the screen there. <laughs> Unfortunately, in order to use I have to basically sit right behind the camera, so it's going to be a little tricky. So let's see how well the screen looks in this, uh, in this situation. So I've got the message pad plugged into the power adapter, as you can see, only because I don't have the built-in battery holder for this model. So, if we turn it on with the power switch on the side. Oh, backup battery. <laughs> yes, yes, I know about that. Um, let me zoom in a bit and um, we'll have a closer look at the screen. Okay, well hopefully you can read that. Uh, what it's saying here is that uh, because I don't have a backup battery in the system, it's, it's uh, warning me that I could lose data if I unplug this from the power or take the main batteries out. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the standard um, view on the Newton. This is basically the notepad view. So what you have is you have a, an area that resembles the page of a notebook which you can write on. Now there are several ways of using this. You can either write in freehand on the page and leave your um, writing as just that. In other words, turn off the handwriting recognition. And you can also draw any sort of diagram, basically any freeform object that you want, onto the page. Now, the important icons to note are down here. This one here, with the capital A, means that text recognition is turned on. And the one to the right of that is shape recognition, because in addition to trying to recognize your handwriting, the Newton can also attempt to recognize shapes that you draw, say circles, lines, or squares, and will attempt to clean them up and make them look a little bit more, um, more, um, well, tidier, shall we say. But first of all, we'll turn off the recognition if I go to turn that off and turn that off. So at this point, anything I draw, oops, I have to hold this. <laughs> there we go. Anything I draw on the screen, to apply a bit of pressure to the... there we go. Anything I draw on the screen remains like that. So no matter what I do, it doesn't attempt to do, to do anything with it. Now, if we want to delete our note, we go up to the icon up here, and you can see we have some options, so we'll delete it. And watch the animation that comes up when you delete a note. There we go, it goes into the bin. <laughs> I thought that was kind of uh, kind of neat. So what we'll do is let's turn on handwriting recognition and let's make a note. Um, it's going to be hard to write on this. Let's try this. Ooh. <laughs> that was probably my poor writing than any fault on the part of the machine. So let's try that again. Little handy feature with the Newton is if you want to erase a word, you simply draw a line through it like this. Oh, no, that's I need to apply more pressure to the screen. <laughs> Let me do it like that, and then it goes away in a puff of smoke. <laughs> so I need to I need to apply a bit more pressure to the screen, which is a bit awkward the way I'm using it. So we'll, let me try this again. Um, Oh, this is, if it gets this, I'll be very surprised. Okay, I don't know how it got that word from test note. I really don't. <laughs> Let's try that again. I just, I need to apply a bit more pressure to the screen. Boom, there it goes. Um, let's just try the word test. And I'll use lowercase. Oh, I got that. There we go. And note... 
Okay, well, that's better. Looks like it's, uh, it doesn't like my um, block capital writing. It likes uh, lowercase. So we'll get rid of that. Whew. Ooh, the, it's going to be ease a bit. Here we go. Now it worked it out. It obviously has a built-in dictionary, so it does um, it does um, correct common misspellings of of words. But let's see if we write a word which it doesn't recognise. Um, let's see if it'll give us any suggestions. So if I write something, uh, Apple Newton. Ah, it's it's actually working. Uh, it's working quite well. I have to keep moving this though. It keeps, oops, keeps uh, it's falling off. Um, now, I sh if I put a line through this, does it delete it as well? <laughs> Apple up Newton. Hmm. I don't see how that worked because I just put a I just put a line through it. Let's maybe it'll do it. If I do it again, it'll go up, up Newton. Let's try that again. <laughs> how does it get that? How does it get that? Really? How do you? Oh, let's let's start again. Get rid of that. Right. Let's try the shape recognition, which is currently turned off. But if I turn it on. If I turn it on, there we go. So if I draw a circle, it should, there we go. And if I draw a square, yeah, not bad. And also if I draw a line or an arrow, it should attempt to 10. What? <laughs> I drew a down arrow and I thought it was 10. Um, no, I don't, I, no Newton, I don't, uh, I don't, agree with you there. Um, let's try that again. Let's try an up arrow. Asterisk. What? That is not an asterisk. <laughs> I think we're better off turning off the handwriting recognition for this one. So if I draw an up arrow, there we go. That's better. So the problem is if you have both handwriting and shape recognition turned on, it, um, it doesn't really it can't, often can't tell that you're actually trying to draw a shape rather than write a word. So um, I think what we'll do is I think we'll, um, we'll start again if we delete this in the bin. Oop, there we go. Let's try something else on here. Let's, um, what else can we do? Actually, let, let's see if it can recognize block capitals. If I write this very carefully, The for the dot <laughs> the dot forty. Hmm. Yeah, that's. Uh, I can see how that would work. The dot forty, whatever that is. Ugh. Dear oh dear. Um. Let's try. Um. What's another good word? Um. I've no idea. Um. Let's just put. Um. Uh, note to self notebooks mm -hmm. okay no that's a fail do you know <laughs> really that, it, that was a squiggle and it thought I meant June no I did not I was trying, trying to delete the damn thing how do you uh, you've got to be very careful how you uh oh, what's it going to do now? Premium. <laughs> Premium June notebooks. Never seen those for sale. <laughs> I want to delete this. It still isn't going to do it. Premium June drops. <laughs> oh, maybe I've got to turn this on. That might be why. Let me try that again. No, it's. Oh, what's it going to do now? Run a premium June drives. Oh, this is getting okay. This is this is getting ridiculous. I want to delete this. I should be able to put a squiggle through it, and it should go away. Why is it not going away? Uh, oops. Oh, just change that. Why is it not going away? I mean, I could I could do 
I could do this, but that's the easy option. I want to be able to delete, let's just try one word. If I take that away, okay, this is working. If I do that, uh-oh, what's it gonna think? Minimum print, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do not know what to say. I can see, you can see now how people using this back in the day would probably get a little frustrated with it. Ah, uh, delete. Can't stand it anymore. Go away. Right. <laughs> now, of course, if you preferred using a proper keyboard, you could bring one up. If you tap on here, you've got an on-screen keyboard, which, of course, works just as well as any on-screen keyboard, except where is the text going? I don't... Where's the, te where is the, where's the text going? Come on, I want the keyboard. Brrr. <laughs> okay, well that, that seems to work alright. One thing I've noticed though with the Newton is that even though you can write text and draw freeform objects on the screen, you can't move them or manipulate them once you've put them on there. So in other words, if I draw, if I try and write the word uh, test, okay, if I wanted to move this, say up here, I can't, at least I don't think you can. If I draw a circle around it, does that select it? No, it doesn't do anything. If I tap and hold it, does it do anything? No. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> Delete. I thought there was some feature where if you uh, if you drew a circle around around an object, it would do something to it. It would select it or something like that. Nope, not this time. Nope. Now, can I delete this without... Oh, that worked. <laughs> Very hit and miss if you, if you haven't noticed. So, um, let's see. So that's the, um, that's the notes. Now, one other thing you can do is, you can see that this note is dated Friday the 1st of January 1993 because that's what the default date is set to when you first turn the Newton on um, without setting the clock because um, obviously every time I unplug this from the power the internal clock resets and I couldn't be bothered setting it to the correct date although you can in fact the clock will the, the calendar will run um, at least up to the current year um, so it's certainly uh, Y2K compliant <laughs> if that uh, is even relevant these days now if you want to file the note you've got different folders you can put notes into. So, for example, we have business, important, miscellaneous, and personal. And you can also, I believe, put a new folder in. And in fact, I should be able, if I write the name in here, it should actually recognize it for me. Let's try it. Uh, it's called Stuff. Ah, oh, that worked. Let's, uh, let's file it in stuff. Oh, it's not stuff. There we go. Oops. Let's do that again. Let's put it in stuff. There we go. File it. File it away. Now, something else I've discovered is that if you're writing something and you want to... What? That wasn't even a, an attempt at writing a word. In? In what? Insanely bad handwriting recognition? Yes. Go away. If you put a, a horizontal line through, it should actually split the note, there we go, and create a new one. So you can actually segment each page of your notepad. And if you want to move to a new page, press the down arrow, and it will scroll. So that part seems to work fairly well. Now, well, at least it worked out what that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's move on from the notes. Oh, actually, before we do, the other things you can do with a note, you see you can print it if you have a Apple 
printer, a local talk um, printer, not local talk, um, just a serial uh, printer attached. You can also fax it, beam through the IR port or mail if you have an email account set up. But of course, in order to fax or mail, you need to attach an external fax modem to the newt and it can't do it natively. Um, so we won't bother with that. So let's go into, let's go into names. Now, this is apparently the default um, name or sample uh, card that comes with the Newton. Are there any more? Oh, there's a few. Oh, Newton Cafe, this should be good. Um, hang on, what, what are we looking at here? Unfiled names. Can I show the... Oh, there we go, that's the cut. Ca Cappuccino... <laughs> oh, please. Cappuccino Court, Newton, Ma Massachusetts, I presume? I wouldn't know. Oops. Yes, the Newton Cafe. Hmm, yes. Now, there is one little gimmick on the Newton, is that if you want to call somebody um, from the using the telephone number stored in their contact file, well, you're probably thinking, well, how can the Newton call a number? It doesn't have um, any mobile phone capability. Well, that's true, but it does let you, if you're feeling really lazy, it actually can dial the number for you from its built-in speaker. So what I mean is if I want to call the Newton Cafe and speak to Linda Thomas, I don't know why I would, but anyway, if we tap on the number, you can see that you can actually dial based, well, you can dial from the speaker. So in theory, at least with a US DTMF phone, you could hold the Newton, you could pick up the phone, hold the Newton, hold the speaker of the Newton up to the microphone of the phone, and it would generate the DTMF tones to dial the number for you. Personally, I wouldn't have really have a problem with just picking up the phone and dialing it manually, but anyway, let me show you that. Call, call. Ah, well, that's a bit silly. I've just realised the speaker doesn't work on this, so of course I can't show you that, but <laughs> I actually forgot. The Newton normally makes little sound effects um, when you tap on things, but for some reason the speaker on this is not working, so I can't show you that. But what it would have done is it would have actually generated the do 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 the actual DTMF tones for the number that I selected, which is a bit of a gimmick, really. And so we've got, uh, what's on that? There's, oh, that's, apparently it's January 1st, 1993, and we have a full battery, which would not really make sense because there is no battery installed, but anyway. Um, let's see, um, show, card and notes. What else have we got? Okay, this, you can have notes linked to a contact. Card, can we edit this card? Uh, Probably. No, I don't want to file it. I don't want to edit the note, uh, the card. Nope, these must be uh, built in. But I can delete them. So, obviously, if we, uh, if we want to make a new card for a new person, then we have to write it all in. Oh, goody. So, um, do we tap on it first? Yes, we do. So, let's do... Mr. My. Oh, you. Let's try that again. Oh no, DC. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Right. Mr. Thank you. First. Yeah. We'll do Mr. Uh, Mr. Jason McIntosh Museum. Let's do that. Uh, oops. J A. Oh, you know, that that now that was me, the junior, <laughs> Mr. Junior. <laughs> nope. Um, no, that's me. It's, it's actually very hard to write on this while you're uh, while you're sitting behind a camera. J R M. Come on, just delete the thing. There we go. Uh, This is probably my handwriting. Uh, oh, there we go. We've got that one. I need to find something a little bit 
more sturdy to hold this in place. It keeps moving when I apply pressure to the screen. Um, be right back. Okay, I've utilised my uh, storage box to hold this in place, so hopefully it won't keep moving when I apply pressure to the screen. Um, let's call uh, let's call him just, uh, Jason Macintosh. Hmm. All right. This is looking better. Title. Um, um, host. That'd be good. No, oops. No, that was me. No, that is 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 not is. <laughs> Uh, host. Halt. Now, let's see if we can correct this. If I tap on the word... Ah, there we go. If you double tap, that's what you put in. And... Unfortunately, none of the... None of these actually have the word I want. Halt, note, nose, hope... Let's try that again. Host. Good. Company. Let's just call it, um, I don't know, museum. My handwriting's pretty bad. Muslims. Hmm. Nope. I can do this a bit more, uh, a bit more neatly. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. Uh, anyway, I think I think you get the idea. Uh, I think we'll uh, have had enough of that. <laughs> Probably quicker to. Uh, probably uh, just type it out on a regular keyboard, which of course is how it's done now. So, um, hmm. Now, let's see, dates. Right, let's imagine it's January 1993. Um, but we can, we of course can skip forward. Can we though enter a date and jump to it? Ooh. No, no, I, I want to go down to... What? Oh. So that's... Okay, that's how you switch between... Pick a week. Oh, I see we have weekend... Uh, let's go back to a day view. There we go. Um, okay, so I should be able to put an appointment in if I simply write... I don't test appointment, but I have to pick... I have to obviously... Uh, very carefully position the text so that it puts it in the right, the right time slot. So we'll say we have it at 12 o'clock, so... Oh, I'm running out of space. Ah, there we go. Hmm. I'm, I'm impressed, it actually got it right. <laughs> now, can we edit the appointment? Ah, uh, you, uh, you can too. There we go. So I can change the... I can... I, can I change the... Oh, I can too. 1pm. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That worked. It's not too tedious. And uh, we can set an... There we go. We can set it. Whoops. We can set an alarm. Put some notes in. That's good. Um, I don't know. What are we doing at one o'clock? Um, notary. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I can. I can sort of see how it would come to that. Um, no idea. Maybe I wasn't maybe I wasn't spacing the words out enough. Folded. Ah. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yes.
That's better. I presume you just, it's already saved it, has it? Yes, it has. Now, in the, in the Newton's defence, though, I haven't actually gone through the proper training for the handwriting recognition, only because with this Newton, every time I unplug it from the power, it loses its memory. So I, I would say that if I used it a little bit more and, and corrected any words that it got wrong, told it what the correct versions were, it might, it might improve, but uh, it's pretty lousy at the moment. Um, To-do list? Nothing. Okay. What about today? Nothing. That's good. Um, there should be something on the to-do list because I've just put I've put an appointment in for um. I don't know. When did I put the appointment in? I don't remember now. <laughs> ah well, never mind. <laughs> So what can we do with that? Fax, beam, or mail, or delete? Oh, okay, clears out old appointments. I don't want that. Um, right, so that's uh, that's your dates. <laughs> Which, um, eh, somewhat useful, but again, the handwriting recognition really uh, makes it a, a chore to uh, enter anything into it. Right, extras. Inbox and outbox. Well, I presume that's mail. <laughs> yes, we need to uh, dial up for that. Well, there's no no point in trying to do that because we ain't got a modem. Connection. I think this is to connect with a. Yep. So you can connect with a DOS or Windows PC and a Mac through serial or local talk to uh, synchronise data. Sharp, that connects to the Sharp range of personal organisers. Um, card, well there's no memory card in there. Calculator, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. This doesn't have to recognise your, um, your your text, you just... Uh, it's pretty simple. Formula, so this is the, um, the unit converter, I think. Here we go. Metric conversion. So I presume you write on one side, and it, so what's a, what's a gallon? Should be about four point something liters. Three point seven nine. There we go. Um, one mile should be at one point six k. Ah, good. Um, so if it's um, if it's really hot, then uh, yeah, three hundred sixty-five Celsius. <laughs> That's a very hot day. Um, and currency. Ah, oh, see, I'm trying to scroll up by doing no. Ugh. Force out, I'm trying to scroll by dragging the pointer up the screen. But no, 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 go, no, get rid of that. I'm obviously not doing my, um, there we go. Currency one. Um, mm, seven dot, well, I think, I think we understand how that works. Loan, loan payment calculator. Hmm, that's a simple formula, I suppose. Nothing fancy there. Uh, what else? Um, oops. Net present value. Hmm. It's a shame that you, you can't add your own custom conversions in here. All you've got is the ones that, uh, that come with it. Which is a bit of a shame. Time zones. Right, so this is used when you're traveling. So... Um, so, it thinks, where does it think? I think it thinks I'm in San Francisco. Well, I'm not. I'm here. Um, oh, this, oh, this updates. Ah, oh, I see. Ah. So that's how you do it. Thing is, what if you, can you tap and hold to... Let's pretend I'm in Mount Everest, what the hell. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm still here. Um, and now I want to go, where do I want to go? I want to go, I don't know, I'll go, uh, I'll go, uh, actually, I'll go to the uh, the Newton Cafe in, in Massachusetts. That's what I'll do. The um, thing is, how do I, oh. Minneapolis, can, can I just choose a city? 
Can I get a list of cities? Apparently not. Denver? Hmm. This is a little clunky in that you can't really pick a city with any accuracy when you're looking at a, a map that's zoomed out to this extent. So, hmm. How do you... Surely you can just pick a city from a list, can't you? Apparently not. Oh, well, let's pretend I'm in Denver. There we go. I'm here. <laughs> um, preferences. Here we go. So these are all the settings for the Newton. Personal information. Uh, let's see. Date and time. Whoops. Went a bit too far there. Date and time. Yes, and um, the problem here is that I can't enter a value. I have to, if I want to set it to the current date, I would have to just keep doing this for forever and a day, which I couldn't be bothered doing. But it's it, there's a very neat feature in setting the clock. So current time is... At, actually, I don't know what the current time is. I uh, haven't got my watch uh, on. Um, but um, let's, say it was, let's say it was half past three. You would drag the hour hand there and the minute hand there. There we go, 3.30, <laughs> which is which is quite cool. Um, country, keyboard, paper size, volume, well, so the speaker doesn't work on this, unfortunately, so you don't get to hear that. What does it do that for? I want to scroll down. Sound. Sound effects, sleep time, memory. Hmm, 174k free. Hmm, you can put a whole one or two more cards on that. Or contacts. <laughs> Pen alignment. Uh, what else have we got? What does it do? What does it go back? Um, recognizers. Hmm, yes, and they're all rubbish. Um, so, okay, you can tell what you wanted to recognize or not. Um, handwriting style. My handwriting style is. Hmm, messy is not an option here, it should be for me. Um, okay, so you can tell whether you want cursive only or mixed printed... Cur oh, okay, that might have been why I had such trouble recognising um, printed text, because I hadn't... it should have been on that. My words are space, recognition, fast, easy, yep, yep, yep. Letter styles... Hmm, okay, God, seems like a lot of... Uh, a lot of lot, lot to go through just to get it to work properly. There. Handwriting practice. Write the word thighs. No. Ah, well. It <laughs> okay. okay. So it just tells you uh, tells you what uh, what it thought it was and um, how confident it was. Hmm. Okay. With difficulty, this would be good. Sue. C. Joe and so. Hmm. Fail. Well, that's that's my crap writing. Let me try that again. Row. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Seems to be behaving itself now. Uh. actually working. Um, beam, modem, yeah, we don't need that. Mail, phone number, hmm. <laughs> yes, ne oh, what networks can we choose? This, this should be good. SprintNet, that's all we've got. Well, that's good. That'll do me no good whatsoever, even if I had a modem. Right, so those are the settings. Um, now, undo. There is nothing to undo. Hmm, okay. Find. Oops, find. Look for um, uh, Newton Cafe. Well, just search for Newton. What the hell? Find. This application is not. Huh? This application does not support finding text. Well, what does it support then? 
you want to look for something and it won't let you put in text. Hmm. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. All. Ah, well that worked. Hmm. Um. Huh. Okay, that, that's a little counterintuitive, I think. Um, 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 find and assist. Oh, this should be good. Please, um, go away. <laughs> please doorway. <laughs> what the hell, yeah, let, let's, let's please doorway. Do that. This <laughs> can I interpret this. Well, how about to go away through the doorway? Let me try that again. Go. Away. Younger. Ah. 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 And see, notice the other problem you've got here that you can't write anything terribly long because you don't have enough space to do so. So, it's, it, it's, it's tricky. It's a little tricky. Um, how do I? How do I what? How do I write, draw, print, uh, miscellaneous, that should be good. Use the cat, use time zone, use cat, yeah, 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 that's all, that's all not very well and good. Uh, insert, it, select text, I didn't know you could do that. What do the pairs do? Ah, you can select text by, oh, I have to try that. Um, oops. Assist. How do I? Um, I was in find information. Search uh, renames, for card, nas, modify drawings. Our uh, move drawings. Select the drawing you want to move. Hold pen on the select. Hold the uh, and draw to Hmm. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Let's give that a try. Um. Can I get back to my notebook? I think it's that one. No, close, close. Oh, there we go. So you're closing and it goes back to the uh, back to the notebook or notepad or whatever you call it. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's go to a new one. Okay, so um, if I write that now, what did it say? You hold down. Ah, right, but can you do anything with it? Oh, you can move it! Ha <laughs> ha! I did not know you could do that. Well, that's how you move it. Little clunky, you can't just t hold it and drag it because then you end up with a line, which I don't want. Error. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Be very careful about the squiggly lines. If you don't get them right, I think the problem is if you if you don't apply enough pressure to the screen, it will it'll give you a broken line, and it doesn't interpret that as uh, as something to delete. Okay, so you drag across, and then you drag and move. Okay, so you can move it. Let's try drawing. Um, let's try arrow. It. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. Bloody thing. Turn that off. Arrow. Right. So if I now hold and do that, no, it doesn't want me to do that. Can I do this? Yes. Well, that's pretty neat. So now I can. Ah. That's actually quite quite cool. Hmm. There you go. So you can move stuff around. Didn't know that. It's tedious as uh, as all get out, but it's it is possible. <laughs> right. Now, what else is there? Please um, turn off. And off. <laughs> no, nope, cannot interpret that. Uh, I'm not surprised. Ugh. Delete. Actually, what do they say about deleting text? Am I doing this the right way? Delete text. <clears throat> That's what I've been doing. Hmm. Yes. Um, can it do... Say, so, so find... Ah, oh, bugger. But 
No, 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 no. What's it gonna? No, it's not even gonna try. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> it had a had a moment there. Um, find Newton. Do. Oh well, at least it knows what the word find means. There we go. Um, Okay, let's try something else. If I say call Linda. Cox Linda. No. <sighs> call Linda. Caribbean. Ah! Give up. <laughs> oh, I give up. That, I think, no. <sighs> yes, it wasn't really ready for prime time, this handwriting recognition system, I have to say. No, it's certainly not reliable or accurate enough. I think even with, um, even with a lot of practice, it would still be... Uh, very frustrating because at least when you're writing something down in a notebook there's no recognition involved so when you write it down it's correct every time because you wrote it having said that you can always leave the recognition off and just write things down um, like that and just leave them there I suppose but eh, anyway <sighs> well I think that's about all we can do with the Newton because I can't beam or fax or do anything like that um so yes i think i think that's uh i think that's about all so now to shut the newton down all we do is just hit the power button and it's gone <laughs> so that was a demonstration of the apple newton message pad complete with its awful handwriting recognition from 1993. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.